the path. Yeah. So flow of electron, right? Correct. Sir, not right? only electrons, we should write charges, right? So exactly. Flow of charges. Now, if this is a circuit, I'm just drawing a standard circuit. Now, flow of electron and conventional flow of current, both directions are opposite, right? This flow of current, yes. right, it is moving this direction and flow of electron, opposite direction. Conventional flow of electron. So they both are in opposite direction. Okay, so for before going that circuit, before going to circuit, so first of all, what is electric current? The flow of electrons. No, electrons through a part. The flow of electric charges through a circuit is called an electric circuit. Yes. So, flow of electric or charges to a circuit or electric. Flow of electric charges. Flow of electric charges. Then electrons are negative charged, right? Yes, electrons are negatively charged particles. Actually, there is. Like uh, they give a name, so we can say there are only two charged particles electron, proton. No, 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 positive and negative. Yes, sir, positive, yes, sir, and positive and negative. There are only two charged particles sir, positive and negative. Positive charge particles, negative, negative charge. charge. Positive charge particle possess proton. Negative composites are uh, negative electrons. Electron. For electrons. For electrons, they're protons. Right? Yeah. So, anion, cation. Yeah. Wait. So, charge of one electron, you know what is charge of one, one electron? No, sir. 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 Coulomb. That is minus. Same charge for proton. 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 coulomb. Sir, what is the value of C, sir? C is charge. It's a unit. Okay. Sir, electron is minus 1.6 or plus 1.6? Minus. Proton yes, plus. So, charge unit is coulomb. Coulomb is denoted by capital C. Whenever we write capital C, it, it denotes it's the name of scientist. Sir, Coulomb means? It's a name of scientist. It is unit of charge. So as we wrote, as we are, what is the unit we are writing, right? So meet, uh, meter is the unit of length. So if I ask you, what is the unit of length? Meter. Yeah. Unit of charge is Coulomb. Yes, unit of charge is Coulomb. Or column, whatever you pronounce, fine. So Coulomb is given by a name, scientist name. So that's why we are writing capital C. Meter is not given by scientist name, so it is small c. Kilo also small. Small m. Newton, we are writing capital M. So like these are the formulas for electrons. No, this is not a formula. This is a value for electron charge of electron, this is proton. One electron contain this much charge. One proton contain this much charge. Okay. okay I think so I went a little bit outside of your syllabus. No, in flow flow, I'll see so many things outside related. That's a bad habit of mine. Sir, okay. could you increase your voice? I can't hear your voice, sir. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Okay.
now if i ask you what is where this current is flowing where is the previous light okay yeah so current is flowing in this circuit right so then the again one question arise now what is a the circuit then what is circuit the flow of electric current Yes, what is circuit? It's a part of the flow of electric current. Yes, sir. It's a part of the flow of electric current. Okay. So if I say it's a part of electric current. Circuit is a combination of the uh, cell wire and I don't remember what the other one is. Okay. So you are saying the load. Okay. Let me draw here. Then what else? This is circuit now. So that's the resistor. No, sir. This sir is an open sir. But whatever you said, I'm drawing it. A resistor we have, load we have, we have everything. It should be connected from the negative to positive terminal, sir. And there should be a switch. Exactly. No, switch is not a problem, but there should be a complete connection. So how can we say this is the only the circuit? We, I, why can't I say this is the circuit? Because it is. So it not, should be connected together. Exactly. We need a close. Continuous path. Sir, in order for the current to flow, the circuit needs to be closed. Closed. So this is not the circuit. Let me draw again. So when can we say this circuit? When we have closed. Continuous. Sir, I think someone is unmuted. Okay. Yeah. Unmuted. So we need closed continuous path. Then only we can say it is circuit. Uh, so how to define circuit? Can you so give me one statement? Sir, it's the part of uh, of the electric, of electric current. current closed. Sir, yeah. it should be closed in order for the electric uh, electricity to flow through. Exactly. So in that, what we need? There so should for the be one so, of electricity. Yeah, there should be so one source, source of current, sir, like a, like a battery. Source of electrons. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Source of current, like battery or cell. For that, what, what are things we have? It should be starting and ending. It means it is to return. Starting and ending. Entering and leaving. Electron will, electrons will enter and it, electrons will leave from the circuit, like a source. That is a source. If I ask you what is a source, what is source? It starts and leave. It starts from there and leave and ends, enter somewhere else from the other terminal. It's the starting part, um, like it is the starting point where the, the, yeah. the charges start and end up again. Yes. So I can say closed. Close continuous path. That is electric circuit. Now, uh, one more question arises. Then, how can we say it is open circuit or it is closed circuit? Sir, like if the uh, source of current, like it is cut off, then the bulb won't glow. Sir, sir if, if bulb have a bulb, sir, if the bulb glows, then it's called a closed circuit. Sir. 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 So not only bulbs are. Sir, if the load is working, then it's uh, a closed circuit. Yes, sir. So let me draw. Or we can use a multimeter, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Sir, can we use a multimeter to measure the charge? Yes, we can measure. Sir, but multimeter tells the charge. Yeah. So these are the two circuits I'm drawing. So how can we, how can I make this open and how can I make this as a close? Sir, you can connect the wire through the switch. So this is the key. If I place this, it is open or closed? Sir, closed. 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 Right. Sir, a piece of wood. So there should be unlike a switch off condition means this is this way this is called switch off condition open key you have to put a dot inside yeah this is close the key yes sir in the book yes sir it's like they show like this sir yeah order this resistor 
and this one battery, battery which is made battery. up of cells so it's a source of current no sir question. it's a cell only i think it has only two terminals yeah cell so the long one is positive and the small one is negative negative now what are the symbols you know the bulb the you bulb know. it's the curly line what are this the So first yes, one is, is bulb. bulb. Second one is bulb. Okay. So second one, the bulb is glow, glowing, sir. Bulb and first one. I don't know. Ammeter. Yes, sir. Ammeter. Ammeter is the instrument to measure measure the flow of current. So how much current is flowing in the circuit? It is measured sir. by ammeter. Yes. Sir, in my book, a uh, switch is shown in a different way. It's a simple line. Yeah, like this. Yes, yes sir. Like that this switch. That is closed. Open. That is switch. This is key. This Both. Is open, no, this is key, and this is switch. Both are same. Both okay. work is same, but we have different different way of use. This is open. But when we are drawing a power source, don't we usually have to give an other like uh, long line and short line? I'm sorry, what? I didn't get you. But when we are drawing the power source, so here we have drawn a ferry. So don't we have to add another long line and short line, and the second short line should be connected? Do you want me to draw the other one? Then that becomes a battery. Then this uh, single one such uh, cell. That that see that doesn't mean that doesn't matter. It's not a big deal here. Okay, so this is our battery. Fine. Sir, we can sir for Volvo meter we can keep V in place of V. Yeah. So that is switch. This is open. This is closed. Open switch. This is closed. closed. Now we have one more thing that is left. That is. Fuse. V voltmeter. So even fuse. Yeah, fuse also. Sir, capacitor. Do you have voltmeter in like uh in sorry fuse in your syllabus? Yes, yes sir. So we, have, so we had. Uh, Very good. Then we can discuss that also. Sir, we have. Sir, but uh, this year we did not have. So last year for seventh class we had. Yes, sir. For seventh class, I think we had, sir. But for eighth, we don't have, sir. Q symbol is very simple, just like this. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Let's get back to our circuit. So can you again explain ammeter and voltmeter? See, ammeter V is instrument to measure voltage in the circuit. Okay. Sir, capacitor. I'm sorry. I'm. I said wrong. Voltmeter is the instrument to measure voltage in the circuit. Ammeter is the instrument to measure. Flow of it. Yeah, flow. How much current is flowing in the circuit? Current flow. Okay. Yeah. So then, what okay. is the difference between multimeter and ammeter? Now, see, multimeter works everything. That's why its name itself is multimeter. It is for everything. It will measure voltage, current. By just changing a switch, it will change to current. Have, yes, you, sir, have, have, it in have you seen that? Like, uh, let me show you one picture. Yes, sir, it's it will be like a, it will be round, sir. A switch will be something. Multi sir, and it's typically yellow colored. Yes, sir, I have it in my home. Yeah. I do have that. Just let me get one, get one picture so that I can discuss with that. Are image? I don't have one price. Can I paste you a picture? I can't. 
I can't put the picture in one note or what? Sorry. Sir, you can paste. Oh, it's not coming here. Yeah. Paste here. Yeah. That's why I like one note better option. Is always one note. No, I'm not able. Sir, to... I have it right now, sir. Okay. Like this, it will be like this. Yes, sir. Sir, like, what is the difference between voltage and capacity of current? So sir, I think that ammeter tells in ampere and voltmeter in volts. Exactly. If you can see this part. Oh, yeah. See, he is also having. Yeah. Let me stop sharing. Yes, yeah, sir. I have that type. See, I have spotted. Yeah. You can see this. Yeah, see. Okay, so what we'll do, this are, he's holding that black and white. So just we'll put in that, we'll just place there. Yeah, wherever we want, like whatever we want to check. And we, he's, it's, it's already connected. See the red connection here in the bottom. And now it is in off condition, if you see. If I want to check current, I'll just move it on the right side. Is it on right side check? Is it your current is on right, right side or left side for you? Sita, no, you just see and tell me. It is on left or right? What is on left? What is written? Something written on left? Le left. Your left. You are muted, boy. The left side, I have something like V. Yeah, that's so that shows voltage. And where is ampere? Where, where can you find ampere? A. Sir, here, sir. A. Yeah, see. For, if you just uh, regulate this. To the A side, you can regulate your current, how much current it will be. Same manner, this is for voltage. If you regulate on the left side, it one more, huh? This is for ampere. If you want, if I want to measure ampere. And same way, regulate for left two two times left. Move your regulator two times left. One more, one more, one more. From the off, yeah, one more, yeah. That's it. So this is for voltage. And there are number of voltage here. You can see the we can see that number of voltage. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. That is multimeter. Yes, sir. That's multimeter. So name itself says multimeter means used for multi-purpose. Okay, fine. Let's get back to our topic. So where were we? Hmm, current circuit. So if I if I go with circuit, there are two types of circuit. Sir, close circuit and open circuit. Huh, close and open. Now in that also we have two types of current flowing: alternate current and direct current. Sir, can you please tell uh, how is this uh, conversion of current and AC to DC? Yeah, we'll see that. So first, let's go step by step. Alternate current and direct current. Now, what are alternate current and what are direct current? Have you heard of these two things? Yes, sir. Okay, so what are alternate current first of all? Or oh, sorry, let's start with direct current. What are direct current? Sir, in that uh, straight movement is there. Directly the current reaches uh, till the load. Sir, in direct current we can't, like using any device also we can't increase it. Yes. But in alternating current if we use like a transformer or something we can lower it. Yeah, we can reduce, we can increase whatever we want. Right. Okay. So any other thing? Yes, I don't want... 
remain constant all the time, but alternating current it will change. The same, okay. Sir, our uh, regular uh, cells and batteries have which current, alternate or direct? This is that is alternate direct current. current. No, 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 batteries. They have direct current stored. See, in, in short, we can remember, we can just conclude one thing small way, like uh, whichever we just stored for a some time, direct current. That is direct current. And which is not stored, like which is flowing and which is alternately moving here and there. See, actually, if you, if I want to tell you like, uh, I don't know, you can understand or not. Let's try. Actually, you know, let me draw a graph here. See, this current versus like uh, how current is with time. So here, alternate current will always flow positive for and negative in one cycle. That's why its name is alternate. It flows to the positive cycle and negative cycle alternately. Yes, sir. But whereas direct current is just a standard form. It is constant. It is not changing. That's why we are uh, in this direct current. Generally, we won't get shock. Until it is converted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yeah. our phone... Phone and laptop batteries are direct current, right? Batteries are direct current, yes. Oops, thank you. Yeah. So if you observe, they are, they are writing lithium ion batteries. Yes, sir. AAA batteries or A plus batteries, whatever it is, HW. So what are the difference between these four types of batteries, sir? No, like uh, they have given standard names for like some for cell some for a remote control some for a, some other purpose so they were given this names this is for multi-purpose hw batteries for multi-purpose battery because yes is a radio one blue color exactly yeah. i have one right now yeah it will be like this you can like you can use anyhow what whichever way you want some are alkaline rechargeable battery alkaline battery which is rechargeable Generally, we are Sir, lithium battery. ion batteries are in laptop battery. Exactly. So they have different different purpose of use. Like somewhere remote control. So, like, can you explain direct current? Again? Yeah, yeah. We'll go back to direct current. So, what's first? What happens with direct current? How it is generated for alternate current? First of all. See, alternate current, uh, alternate current is generated by turbine and like all that power plants. Power plants will generate, or in 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 short, we can say a generator. It will generate current. Okay, then like it is passed through the transformer to our like big station, then big station to our small station, and small station to our nearby transformer. If you have observed near to your house, there will be some transformer. Sir, I didn't understand. Can you repeat the topic? Yeah. See, when, like, uh, if you have seen, like, let's take hydro power plant. Sir, hydro? Hydro power plant. Hydro means water. Yeah, sir, I know. Electricity from water. Power plant. So, like, from there, with the flow of water, what they'll do, they'll rotate turbine. Yes, sir. They rotate turbine. Okay. Once turbine is rotated, and due to the rotation of turbine, and generator will move. And generator will move uh, inside the like there will be connection between one shaft. There will be one shaft here. Okay. Here turbine will rotate, and generator will generate electricity from here. And which is passed through, passed by this, uh, this electricity is transferred by power lines, which you are seeing over overhead lines. Have you observed the overhead lines? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mostly, yes. Will, there will be so big tower, like so huge tower. Okay, so big tower, and there will be one, like for power transmission, there will be big, big towers like this. There are lots of 
around. Yeah. They are not around. Exactly. So they will transfer here because and this tower should not be near to your house because something bad happened to your in this tower something wrong like uh, over overheating or something and it will affect your our house and nearby yeah. thing. Yeah. So that's why they're made they are in farms place. generally. Yeah, generally they are in farms. In open places also. Exactly. So from there, power is generated. That power is electric current. That is electric current. So from there, it is transferred to our like a sub big station. First, it will be big hub. There will be one big station, power station. Then near to, <coughs> excuse me, near to your house, there will be one transformer. From here to substation, power station. And so then there is DB distribution board. Exactly. So they will substation is the distribution board. It will. This is substation. It will distribute to your houses. So how it is distributing near to your house, there will be one transformer. Like this, if, if you observe, like one big transformer will be there. So now the question is how they are transferring. It is this generation is not just one or two or three kilowatt. It is hundred megawatt. So mega means like so much. Some power station will be one megawatt, some will be hundred. So in short, we can say at least minimum one megawatt. So one megawatt means one ten to the power six watt. This much big power is generated. So how to transfer this? If we just pass this from the current, or if the if we pass this current from this power lines, then whoever comes nearby, little bit also nearby, he will burn up. So what they will do before before sending power, they will put they'll uh, like keep one like transformer. What it will do? It will reduce it will the show. power. Reduce, reduce, step down and step up. So near to a house which is required, it will be step up then, step down and step up. So there are two types of transformer in that. So we are not going in that detail. So I'm just giving you idea how alternate currents are generated. So some will store some energy in it. Yeah, and there will be some loss also, obviously, because this power, this alternate current cannot be, cannot be taken back. Once it is sent, done, finish. It's only one way. But direct current, like in battery, how we are using, okay, in battery we are using, we are using some time, we are keeping it as it is. Again, we are using some time. Again, it's keeping as it is. So in short. We are using slowly, slowly, so it's not getting like wasted. But some appliances, as our house, as we are using one house, they require alternating current. Now, if you observe from your laptop, that is also required alternating current. But we have in between one, we have one adapter. If you have observed that, one big yes, square or rectangular box will be there, right? So that will convert. That will just do remaining work. That so your battery should not. Answer. Yeah, your battery should not get damaged. So it changes DC to AC. Exactly. Now, in short, main work why we are gener why we are transferring alternating current because direct current cannot be transferred for longer, like longer distance. But alternating current can be transferred. So let me write with this one point. We got one point. So let us write difference so that you can understand better. So difference, this is most important. Difference between AC and DC. First point. AC can be, we can tra transfer, transfer for longer distance. Or we can say easy to transfer distance. But alternating current, sorry, DC current, DC. 
सर एसी इज फॉर ट्रांसफर फॉर लॉन्ग लॉन्गर डिस्टेंस यस एसी ओके सर ट्रांसफर फॉर लॉन्गर डिस्टेंस इवन वी कैन इवन सी वी दिस इवन बिटवीन टू सिटीज but dc cannot travel for very long distance so sometimes they even give the electric wires So, like, why the uh, like adapter in the computer like converts DC to AC? Because our laptop is based on battery. If you remove battery, still we can use that current, but it will damage our uh, application. Uh, sorry, appliances, because it's like a, even in our appliances, we have, if we are using laptop, then we have one chip, and that also we have one small battery that is DC. Okay, sir. So. Twelve voltage maximum it will be. Sir, so even the pass electricity through underground, sir, they keep electric wires underground. Yes. So there are some more points also, but it's not for like eight standard. It will be for higher standard. Just, but I can give you small idea. Like uh, this AC has some frequency. um which no no let it be we're not going that frequency part okay as i showed you one graph before it's going up and down right so it is plus and minus so it is go ac is moving in both the direction ac means it is positive negative right ac flows in both direction but dc flows unidirection unidirection means single direction in short what is both direction means electrons are moving electrons are moving or keep changing the direction electrons are changing their direction electrons keep changing changing direction but here unidirection so electrons will move only in what from the from the statement electrons Yes. Will move only in one direction. Exactly. Electrons moves in in one direction. So, okay. So these two points we can remember. Yes, sir. Still, there are some more points, but uh, you won't understand because for that you need to. how little bit understanding of some more things frequency and like cycles and all that like how it rotates how this how this the uh, generator works we need to understand that we'll study that later okay okay sir so now we saw ac dc conversion now what is electric potential by the way sir the amount of electric current flowing through the circuit yes charged through a circuit so if i say let me sir means it's a uh, its unit is also that coulomb no electric potential unit is not coulomb only charge unit is coulomb 
so electric potential so i will give you those who don't know this one because if you haven't studied this one i'll just give you a small idea so there are two uh, there is a charge here which is at infinity we are bringing this charge to a point so let's take a point as a so q charge is brought from infinity to a point a so how much work is done so how much we required to do some work like in short like see we have, we required some if we want to push something so i need to do some work to push that correct yes yes sir right i need some work i need to do some work to push something as i'm pushing my pen here then only it is able to write here so same manner even charge is also required some work to do to move from one point to another so that work done by the charge is potential energy sorry electric potential so work done per unit charge that is potential understood this one yes sir so if we if i give you in definition way so amount of work done needed to move a unit positive charge that is a definition we can say even by seeing formulas also we can make a definition amount of work done required or to move a unit positive charge unit means one charge right can you make this definition can you remember this definition so can you write that definition sure thank you amount of work required to move a unit charge okay so i think so you have next class also so let's continue on next class okay sir bye sir okay okay sir thank you bye sir. thank you sir okay bye. sir yes sir thank you sir bye thank you sir bye Bye -bye. So once can you share your screen? I will take a screenshot. Oh yeah, sure. I think so. I missed that. Oh yeah, no, I have. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, over.